Today in gaming history, an important handheld gaming device was introduced to the world, the Game Boy, a device that is as synonymous with Nintendo as Mario, Link, and Pokemon are. The handheld-enabled Nintendo device created a successful and long-lasting platform for popular franchises, such as Super Mario Bros., The Legend of Zelda, and classics such as Tetris. But where did it all begin? Nintendo wasn't the only company trying to bust into the handheld gaming market. The Atari Linux and Milton Bradley's Microvision were two of the bigger handheld devices on the market, but they didn't have Nintendo's originality or simplicity etched into their design, so gamers didn't take to their devices right away. Looking back, engineers believed that the aforementioned devices failed because they tried to push the bounds of handheld gaming too far, thus becoming overpriced devices that eat too much battery power. The market hungered for something new and exciting, but also sensible. In the 1980s, legendary Nintendo engineer Gunpei Yokoi was catching a train home as he watched a businessman struggle with his wristwatch. The watch, which had tiny buttons that lit up an LED screen, was a very simple design. Yokoi felt inspired to craft Nintendo's handheld system in a similar manner. His design philosophy revolved around creating a simple device that was affordable yet easily marketable to children. With this in mind, Yokoi invented the Game Boy the 8-bit handheld gaming device that was introduced in Japan on April 21st, 1989, and later in the United States on July 31st. Yokoi wanted to make the fourth generation hardware on the cheap. He, along with Nintendo's research and development team, still believed that the handheld gaming market was a gamble. Consumers weren't responding favorably to new ideas at the time, and Nintendo wasn't sure if the Game Boy would be a landmark success. But the Game Boy was a huge hit, plain and simple. All 300,000 of its units were sold out in the first two weeks of its initial launch in Japan. A few months later, the Game Boy released in America, selling 40,000 units on its first day. The Game Boy was sold for $90 at launch, compared to the more expensive price tags of the Game Gear, which sold for $150, and the Linux at $180. The Game Boy would go on to eventually sell an impressive 118 million units worldwide. The Game Boy's success can also be attributed to the slew of amazing, but also accessible games that were made available for the system. The Game Boy launched with such great games as Super Mario Land, Alleyway, Baseball, Tetris, and Tennis. Soon, installments from popular franchises such as Mega Man, Metroid, Final Fantasy, and Castlevania found their way into Nintendo's little handheld that could. In addition to the slew of original content for the system, Many ports of older NES and SNES games found new life on the Game Boy. But it was the start of a very iconic franchise that defined Nintendo's handheld, as well as virtually saving the company itself. Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue debuted on the Game Boy and were the symbol of the console's success, as well as Yokoi's original design philosophy. Pokemon Red and Blue sold over 23.5 million units, only second to Tetris's astounding 35 million units. The sales of both of these games are symbolic to the time of the Game Boy. They were simple installments that weren't expensive to make, but easy to play and make a profit from. So today, on July 31st, let's celebrate the 26th birthday of Nintendo's Game Boy, as its simple design and affordability led to the enjoyment of millions of people around the world.